Welcome back to Draft Day Sports College Basketball with the New Hampshire Wildcats. It's been ah, it's been a few days since I've been able to record. I have been uh, sick sick all week. Uh, not COVID, but I have definitely been sick all week and just haven't been able to uh, build up the energy really to um, to record much. So. Uh, I'm back. Uh, hope to get a couple of videos posted this weekend. Um, and I also am thinking about, and I'm not sure what the best way is to kind of get people's thoughts because I guess I really haven't posted my Twitter feed much. Um, I'm thinking about starting an out of the park baseball uh, playthrough as well to kind of take us into uh, OOTP 22, which comes out sometime in March. Um, figure out, start a playthrough here over the next, you know, to play for the next couple of months and then pick up something, probably the Red Sox, because, you know, it's what I always do uh, when when uh, uh, 22 comes out. But uh, if you have any suggestions, leave a message in the comments. I mean, maybe I, I you know, again, I, I put a posting a Twitter feed or a Twitter poll doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I don't think anybody from... Uh, here follows me there. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at Sports Guy Aaron. Um, anyway, let's get to this. It's that's been a couple minute uh, intro for something other than the game we're actually playing. My game again, Draft Day Sports College Basketball. So we finished last season. We lost in the first round of the conference tournament. We finished like fifth in the conference, so we did not advance. Um, we have a lot of unhappy players, and that's a bit concerning. I'm not sure why they're unhappy. Um, I mean, he's got a good... Hopefully it's just because it's off-season stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, he's really good with me, so I don't know. I won't pay much attention to it. But we are in the off-season. We're getting ready to buy our reports and handle uh, transfers. Uh, speaking of transfers, we get uh, Carter... Was it Carter Roy? Who sat out? Yeah, he was... No, it wasn't Carter Roy. Who was our... Uh, Scotty Rosen was our transfer. Um, so he is uh, going to be uh, with us this season. Uh, so that'll be nice. Anyway, let's get to it. So let's advance. And let's take a look at... So I think we do the same thing we normally do, which is just buy the basic edition. Um... I don't see the need right now to spend more than that on reports. Um, hopefully the success we had two years ago and then the success we have this year, presumably. I mean, we have a lot of highly rated players, so hopefully things will go uh, better there and we'll be able to attract some local recruits. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and advance. Sorry, I'm sort of working my way back into this whole recording thing. Like I said, it's been about a week. I think the last video I recorded was last Saturday, and it's Friday now, so I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty rusty, I guess. So we look at the inbox. Uh, we don't have anybody transferring. That's good. So we did all this. Uh, let's go to the transfer session and see if we can land ourselves a nice recruit. Anybody that's any good. I, I like to look at the people who averaged the most points per game. So he went to Iowa and averaged 14 points a game at Iowa. Ooh, this guy averaged 14 points a game at Texas State, a 6'5 point guard. Let's, I want to offer him, I can offer two scholarships, so that's good. Uh, Buffalo, see, 6'3. He's more of a shooting guard, I think, than anything else. Let's contact and see he averaged 14 and 8 i'm just gonna offer scholarships to both of these guys it's gonna make us a really small team we're definitely gonna have to uh uh definitely gonna have to target some big men uh this season i don't know if you saw our roster just a second ago but we had like eight yeah if you look at our roster we have a couple of power forwards calvin webb is a senior he's gone next year and then Point guard, point guard, shooting guard, and then a bunch of small forwards. So, uh, okay. So, so far, nobody has made any decisions. So, Carter, we're in his top five. Yeah, he's really good. 
Uh, he was a walk-on. Let's offer him a scholarship. And Geyer. Yeah, Joey Geyer. We're going to offer both of them scholarships and see if we can land either of them. I, I don't know. I, I guess I have a problem with junior recruits because you're only going to get them. Well, I guess you get them for two years. Um, so let's contact Rashad Tillman in case we don't land one of these guys. Get my mouse pad because the mouse is making a lot of noise here. Ugh. All right, that's better. A couple of messages, and it looks like we landed Ike Carter. Yeah, we got Ike Carter. Um, let's see, are you, any of these guys in here? Let's go back in and look. Okay, so neither of the, okay, so the other guy, um, that small forward uh, went elsewhere, which is fine. Um, he went to Temple. <sighs> I mean, he's really bright, 4.0, um, really good. He's a great shooter, not a great rebounder, not a great defender. I mean, we have an open scholarship spot. We really should use it. Um, so let's take a look at some people and see. It's all... He went to Nebraska. Uh, 21 minutes, 6 points. Uh, where are... I think... Wait a second. Did I get... I didn't get both of them. I'm confused. I um it says I have none available. He signed someplace else but He's not showing up on my. He's not showing up on the list, and I can't remember his name, of course. Uh, um, and I can't look. I mean, I can't even click on him here. So we got Ike Carter. He was the one, and then there was a. It was a small forward. That's all I remember. I don't remember his name. If I could go back and look at the video, I would. He went to. I want to say he went to. Well, this shows where they went to, not where they came from. All right, well, let's just advance. Maybe we'll get that scholarship back at some point. We'll see. There's so much to this game, and I was chatting with somebody uh, on one of my other videos. Joe Petaway. Okay, so we did... So, uh, okay. All right, I'm really confused. Anyway... So he picked up Joe Petaway, who went to Nebraska. Um, he was at Nebraska last season, right? No, he was at Temple. Okay, all right, so he was the other one, right? He was the the, the big man, the first big man that we had looked at. So um, we'll get some scouting done on him here, hopefully, and uh, uh, and, and he'll end up a little bit better so all right i'm gonna go ahead and let's start to sim through the rest of because i don't have any scholarships left so i mean maybe some of these people want to walk on Who knows? i can ask them actually i don't even know if i can it's one of the one of those things about the game i just don't know so let's go in here and let's see who averaged the most points per game pinkney went to colorado state let's just contact him. I mean, he doesn't have any interest in us right now, but Prairie View, sure. Let's just talk to a couple of these people and see what we can get. I don't think it's going to do anything. So we're going to sim through up to um, first game of the year. We'll play that first game. So this will probably be a relatively short video. We'll see.
All right, so I don't think I'm going to be able to pick any of I'm not going to be able to get any of these guys, and that's fine. That is fine. So yeah, I was talking to somebody, um, I forget your name, I apologize, uh, but we were talking about some of the, I guess, mistakes I had made because there's just a lot in the game that I wasn't aware of. So uh, I'm sure there's going to be more that I miss. If you catch something, let me know. If I should have done something differently, let me know. If I'm not handling recruiting the right way, let me know. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't, I'm learning as I go, I guess. All right, so wow, those ratings all dropped. That sucks. Okay. Um, all right, so let me go overall. All right, so Barkley, Webb, Rosen are going to be our three big guns this season. Um, so our, I guess our and, and we'll get to this a little bit later. I'm not too worried about setting it up right now. But Barkley, Webb, Rosen, Lavin, and. Probably Carter Roy will be our starting lineup. Now we still have some room for growth here, which is kind of nice. So, all right, summer travel schedule. We're just going to hit up the two that we normally. Oh, it wants us to do all three. All right, we'll do all three this year. We've ended up with a ton of extra money when the season's been over. So we may as well hit all three and see if we can get a little more information about recruits. We've ended the last two seasons with, I want to say, like a $25,000 surplus, give or take. Um, and you don't get to roll that money over or do anything with it, so you may as well spend it. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive with um, scouting players live. Uh, that seems to impact their interest in you. Um so if I find somebody that's got some interest in us, I'll, I'll start to be a little more liberal with, with how many times I go see them and see if we can land some top recruits. <clears throat> Recruiting begins. All right, do we have anybody in the... Oh, these are the players that were drafted. Michigan State looks like they had three players drafted, nobody from New Hampshire. Not that that's expected. Let's look at recruiting. And we only have three interested recruits, and they're all one star at the moment. So let's jump in here. So remember, we got to go large. We need, we're, we're going to need two big men, I think, is, is really what we're going to be focusing on here. Can I just look at uh, power forwards and centers only? Take a second. There are a lot of recruits, so it does take a minute for it to sort of filter filter what it is you're looking for. All right, so we're not going to go after any five star recruits. So let's look at let's look at four star recruits first, and let's I mean let's let's give it a whirl. Um, I'm not anticipating much, but we'll see. And let's go for the lower ranked four star recruits. So Clint Gray, add him to the watch list and watch film. Keith Virgil. Most of these guys are going to come back as not interested, and that's fine because it means we don't have to necessarily worry about them anymore. So let's go after the Polish lad since we already have one on the team that might help recruit. I wonder if that has any impact. That would be cool if that had some sort of impact on on recruiting, if you recruited an out-of-country player, he would come along because, or be more interested because you've got players who are um, from that same country or from that same city or, or whatever. So, all right, so there's a bunch of power forwards and small forwards. I'm not anticipating much, uh, but we have two scholarships available. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can land a four-star recruit. That would be nice. National camps, I don't think. 
Huh, look at that. We got a couple people who are interested. Very cool. All right, so let's watch film. Let's scout him live. Let's watch film and scout him live. Again, we get the international one that takes up a bunch. So let's dial. <laughs> Playing time and facilities are R2. Him. Again, playing time and facilities are the two things that you really know. Talk to me. I wish you would hang up. Ugh. <laughs> let's try it again. Let's, let's go back to Paolo and see if we can get Paolo back on the line. Oof. Okay, so these guys are just not interested in chatting right now. Let's try Eric one more time. And let's go here. Okay, so it's going to factor into the decision, but only one of the things he's considering. Playing time is very important. Cool, that's what we wanted. Thank you, Eric. All right, so let's look at three stars now. And let's start watching some film. And again, I have no idea if this is the right way to be doing this. Um, it feels right-ish, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, averaging a double-double, I like that. Junior college. Sure, 7-2 out of Illinois. Even though he's a JC transfer, I would be okay with that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but, you know, kind of casting that wide net and, and seeing, seeing you know, what you can generate in terms of interest. Las Vegas Review, National Camp, full list of recruits that attended. I don't think I have any information on any of these guys, yeah. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what the camps do for me other than give me a little bit and I might just be over you know might be reading more into it but I think it's just you get that the scouting ratings you get all the stuff that shows up here on the side uh, I believe um, but I don't really know I don't know how the engine works I just know that it works I guess Houston Classic, uh, I'm not, oh, okay, Just, I guess it tells you. If you have elected to travel to one of these camps, you'll see scouted ability grades when looking at the card of the recruit who was at that camp. All right, well, that's what I thought. All right, so. Why aren't ratings showing up for any of these players? Oh, because I wasn't at that camp. Okay, right, okay. All right. Okay. I'm with you. So I should, yeah. Okay. So I should have ratings now on, in theory, all these players because I was at, right. Okay. All right. That makes more sense. I'm with you. I think I'm going to be able to get any of these players, but let's look at recruits and see if uh, uh, interested recruits. Um, all levels, it should give me. Yeah, all right. Let's watch film. I, oops, I just spent a ton of money doing that. I guess that's all right. I mean... Watch film. Let's talk to Jalen Boston. Doesn't have anything to say about that. All right. Academics is not a big concern. Let's talk to Terrence. Same deal. Program facilities. Playing time. Talk to me about program facilities. Very important. Good. Okay. And I think it was Paolo who wouldn't give us any information about, yeah. Okay, it's going to factor in. 
All right, so I've got some decent initial information on some of these players. Unfortunately, Paolo's not... Um, what's important to him isn't what we can offer, but Karcher uh, wants playing time. Boston thinks facilities are important. Manziel thinks facilities are important as well. All right, so let's go back here. Three star. Now you can spend money on um, additional, I don't know what you want to call it, additional scouting, I guess, that will allow you to see what their top 10 is. Um, I guess my take is that if you're not in their top 10, who cares who their top 10 is? I don't know if it matters or not. Um, I suppose it could. Um, I'm really, I'm just looking at stats and if they have good stats, then I'm kind of taking those steps and, and looking at them. Like a center who only averages three rebounds per game, like that's concerning to me. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, you guys have already seen, you've seen a bit of recruiting. I'm going to go ahead and sim ahead to um, opening night. We'll set our lineups. We'll play the first game, and uh, that'll be that. So I'll be right back. What's up, guys, and welcome.
No, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck.
Okay, we are back. It is almost time for our first game of the season. We're going to be playing the Stetson Hatters in our opening game of the year at home. Um, we have to set... Keith Parker's unhappy because I red-shirted him, but that's okay. Uh, we are going to have to set our roster or our depth chart. And I think... So Barkley, Webb, Rosen, Lavin are our top four. Barkley, Webb, Rosen, Lavin. Let's see what it does if we AI suggest. Barkley, Webb. Okay, it's starting Burks. I mean, he's a good defensive player. Pretty good rebounder. He's actually better than Lavin. Lavin's better um, offensively, but that actually works out. So, But I don't want Burks playing 40 minutes a game. So what are we going to do here? We're going to get Lavin out there more, so we'll go power forward. One, two. There, now he's playing 32 minutes. That's a little better. Webb is playing four. We got Roy out there, which is what we wanted. Rosen and Burks. Barkley, Irwin, Kamauna as our backup point guard who isn't scheduled to play at all because it's got Piluzic as the primary backup point guard, which is a little interesting. We'll see how that goes. Let's store that. Do I want to make any other changes here? I feel like... I feel like I should do this. Don't want Webb out there at garbage time, though. So during garbage time, yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll just do that at garbage time. So I'll have Barkley, Rosenroy, Burks, and Webb out there um, to, actually, let's do this as well. Gets Lavin 18 minutes a game. Burks is going to play 30. Webb, Barkley, and Rosen play 32. I think that's probably fair. The other thing that I think is pretty cool about this is you can set it by minutes. You can tell the matrix how many minutes you want each player to play, and then it will set a lineup accordingly, um, which I think is pretty neat. Um, I found that I've had to go back into this, into the actual matrix, and move some stuff around because I'm not playing enough minutes or I don't have somebody playing, you know, I don't have a power forward playing at minute 12 of the second of the second half. So I have to go in and adjust it or whatever. But, um, all right, we're going to stick with that. Uh, and jelly turned out to be not very good. And I think I want Kamona as my backup point guard anyway. No, not like that though. So we're going to do this, this, Yeah, we'll run with that. We'll run with that. So Kimona gets a little bit of playing time in the first half. Piluzic is my, I guess, my backup point guard in the second half. Irwin's a good shooter. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and sim ahead to our first game of the year. Uh, recruiting hasn't been stellar. Um, we've had some people that... Uh, showed interest and then I offered them scholarships and they kind of backed out. So I've got three players that, that I'm really keeping an eye on now, Nolan Bryson and Dwayne Dreisel here. Uh, hopefully we can land one or two uh, of them. Uh, I don't mind if we only land one that gives us, um, that gives us time to pick up a uh, transfer in, in the transfer portal next season. So I'm not too terribly concerned if we don't land either of these guys, but it would be nice to, so let's go ahead and sim ahead. So what day are we on the 15th? And our game is on the 16th, I believe. Yeah. So let's sim this game, and then we'll play our first game of the year. Here we go. Stetson. All right. So this is where I was making – this is where I made a mistake before. So 
apparently the way I had the sim set up, I was setting up as the coach. Yeah, I was set up as human control, so I was supposed to be the one calling timeouts and, and everything else, and I didn't. So we'll set it on AI control and see if that makes things a little bit better. So starting lineups for the Stetson Hatters, Joseph Colder, Marvin Durham in the backcourt, Jay Anderson, Darius Palmer are your forwards, and Larry Pruitt is the man in the middle for your Wildcats. Llewellyn Barkley, now a junior, leading this team at the point. Scotty Rosen. His first game as a Wildcat is the backcourt. A young frontcourt, Carter Roy, just freshman. Alex Burks, a sophomore. Calvin Webb, the man in the middle for the Cats. So let's go to the tip. And let's go ahead and sim ahead and see what happens. So Llewellyn Barkley right off the bat hits a three. One out of two at the line for Webb. Turnover by the Cats. 4-2 to two lead and turnover by Stetson. And we get a layup. A couple of fouls by UNH. Another turnover by the Cats. 6-4 to four early on. Barkley misses a jumper. 6-4 to four early on. Three-pointer by Rosen from the top of the key is no good. Another three-pointer is no good. Stetson looking to tie it or take the lead with a three. And they do, as they're now up 7-6. Bad pass by Barkley goes out of bounds as, uh, I guess, Webb gets the layup there to put us back up by a point. Missed by Stetson. Long three-pointer, no good. One out of two at the line again for Webb. Nine, seven cats. Baseline jumper goes. Another turnover by UNH. Barkley turns the ball over a ton. Two free throws by Rosen, giving him four. Two more free throws, this time by Pyluzic, his first two points. UNH with a four-point lead, a three-pointer by Barkley from the top of the key. It's 11 to 6, or 11, 16 to 11, rather. Another turnover by Barkley. Lavin hits that, and that's why I wanted Lavin to come in off the bench. He was a good offensive player. That gives our second team a little bit of uh, offensive punch. Three-pointer missed. Three-pointer missed by Stetson. Barkley misses another three. Missed jumper, 18-15 here early on, midway through the first half. Three-pointer by Stetson is good, bringing him within two. Baseline and jumper, no good. Stetson looking to tie the game or take the lead with a three, but they turn it over. And that shot is hit by Roy to put us back up four. Another three-pointer by Stetson to bring him within a point. Webb would misses the shot, but we get the ball back. A couple of fouls on Stetson. A couple of free throws by Rosen. Three-pointer by Stetson, and we're tied at 22. There's a jumper by Webb. Put us back up two. And there's a jumper by Scotty Rosen, giving him eight here in the first half. 26-22, 5.45 left in half number one. One out of two at the line, three-point UNH lead. Webb hits that one in the paint. Offensively, he's looked pretty good. He hasn't scored a ton for us previously, but he's got six in this one. Turnover and a layup by Irwin. Puts us up seven with four minutes to go. One out of two at the line for Stetson. Webb in the paint with the bunny, giving him eight points. That's a good line. Eight points, three rebounds, three steals, and two assists. Six-point UNH lead. Rosen with double digits. And there's a three-pointer by Rosen. He's up to 13 in the first half, and we have an 11-point lead. Scotty Rosen, nine points. Another three-pointer by Rosen. 40-28 to 28 with a minute and a half left. UNH with the rebound. Turnover by the Cats. That's turnover number four. Two free throws brings Stetson within 10. 
an eight point lead as UNH turns it over again. It's back up to 10. Stetson looking for that last bucket of the half. They score. UNH hits a three as the shot clock or as the game clock expired. I can't see who hit it because it went to halftime stats. But at any rate, so Stetson shooting 46% for the game, 13 for 28. UNH 16 for 31. Stetson 4 of 13 from behind the arc. Cats 5 of 12. The Cats are 8 of 10 from the free throw line. Stetson 4 of 6. Individual stats, Calder leads Stetson with eight. Anderson, Pruitt, and Durham each with two for the starters. Palmer started, did not score. Off the bench, Banks with five. Brown, Barnes, and Yearwood each with four. Johnson with three points and three assists. For the Hatters and for the Cats, they were led by Scotty Rosen. 16 points in 17 minutes. 16 points, two assists for the f sophomore. Llewellyn Barkley, eight points, uh, two assists. Burks didn't score, had four rebounds. Roy, his first action with four points. And Webb, eight points, three rebounds, three assists, and three steals in the first half. Not a ton of offense from the bench, and Jilly hit a three. Irwin, Piluzic, and Lavin each had a pair. Kamona and Hope both played but did not score. Uh, everything else looks pretty even. 10-12 points in the paint. 3-2 second chance points and 6-4 to four fast break points. So Scotty Rosen... Huge first half, 16 points. Let's see if he can continue that into half number two. We go in with an 11-point lead. Stetson with the ball first. Foul called on UNH. Missed three-pointer, and UNH gives the ball right back, gets it right back. Webb has his shot blocked, it looked like. Stetson moving, a ball, moving the ball along the outside, misses the shot. Bad pass by Rosen. Still an 11-point lead early in half number two. Webb in the paint turns it over. Actually, it looked like it was blocked again. I think that's what it said by Pruitt. Missed three-pointer. No scoring here early on. There's the first bucket of the second half as Hall hits a jumper. Or excuse me, as Rosen hits a jumper. 47-34 UNH. 49-34 as Rosen scores again. He's got 20 now in his debut. 49-36 UNH. There's a three-pointer by Roy. It's a 16-point cat lead. UNH with the rebound. Missed three-pointer by Piluzic. UNH turns it over, gets it right back. Layup by Scotty Rosen. He's got 22 in this one now. 54-36 UNH. Two free throws by Burks, and it's all of a sudden a 20-point UNH lead. Three-pointer by, I think that was Roy. Puts us up 22. There's a three-pointer by Stetson to get him within 19. One out of two at the line for Webb, giving him nine. UNH up 20. There's a three-pointer by Stetson as they cut the lead to 17 at the 10-minute mark. Let's see if they make a run here. There's a jumper to get it within 15, a turnover. They get it right back. Missed the jumper there. Three-pointer from the top of the key by Rosen is no good. 15-point lead. And there's a jumper by Roy. He's got nine in this one. 61-46 is the lead for the Wildcats with eight minutes left. Cats looking for their first win of the year as Webb buries the little jumper in the paint to put him up eight, put him up 17. UNH passing it back and forth. Baseline jumper is good by Albin Piluzic. Foul called. Turnover by the Cats. They're up 19. Two free throws by Piluzic, giving him six. He's had a nice game. Six points, four rebounds, four assists in his first game. Rosen hits a couple of free throws, or did he miss them both? I think Actually, I think he hit one out of two. 17-point UNH lead. 
has he misses the three pointer, but he's fouled. UNH misses the shot. Stetson misses the shot. The Cats get the ball back. A lot of passing here by UNH as one out of two at the line by Barkley. Jumper from the top of the key is no good, but it goes out of bounds. UNH ball. Another jumper by Roy is no good. Two and a half minutes left. We have an 18-point lead. Looks like this one's in the bag here as Rosen misses that shot. One out of two at the line. Jumper's hit by Rosen. Turnover by Stetson. 19-point lead. Turnover by UNH. Stetson hits the layup, and it's a 17-point game. Lead back up to 19. Barkley goes into double digits with 11. UNH hits the jumper as the clock expires. So very good opening day for us. We beat Stetson 75 to 57. So Stetson was 20 of 50 from the field, 40%, 8 of 25 from behind the arc, 9 of 12 from the line. The Wildcats, 26 out of 58 from the field, 44.8%, 6 out of 17 from behind the arc, 17 of 22 from the free throw line, 78% there, so hitting their foul shots. Nobody in double figures for Stetson. We held Colder scoreless in the second half. He had eight in the first half. Durham led the way with nine. Anderson had eight points, six rebounds. Pruitt, two points and five rebounds. Palmer didn't score, but had seven rebounds in the game. Off the bench, Banks had eight, hit a couple of threes. Billet had five in garbage time. Yearwood and Brown each had four. Johnson had three. The other Johnson, I don't know his first name, Jay Johnson, did not score. For the Cats, they were led by Scotty Rosen, who had 25 points, four rebounds, two assists in his first uh, game as a Wildcat. Llewellyn Barkley, 11 points. Turned the ball over six times, still a problem for him. Webb, 11.7 rebounds, five assists, four steals for the man in the middle. Carter Roy with nine points in his debut for the Cats. Nine points, three assists. Burks had two points and had seven rebounds as a starter for the Cats as well. Off the bench, Lavin and Pyluzic each had six. They both played well. Lavin, six points, six rebounds, two assists. Pyluzic in his first game, six points, four rebounds, four assists, a steal, and a block. Irwin had two, and Jelly had a three. Kamona played two minutes. Hope played one. So... Good first game. We got exactly what we wanted out of Scotty Rosen as he led the team with 25 big points. So Juan Lavin has suffered an injury. Let's take a look and see what that is. How long is he out for? That's not his only sprain toe. He's out for 10 days. All right, so I am going to do what I normally do, which is sim ahead to conference play. We will play a game in uh, the conference and then... Uh, We'll sim ahead to the end of the regular season, and that'll be that. So uh, hopefully we can land some recruits here over the next couple of months. And uh, when we come back, uh, it'll be, I don't know, January sometime. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. And again, if you want to uh, follow me on Twitter, you can do so at SportsGuyAaron. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. <music>